folks and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Art Pot. You join me today with Mrs H and little Toby in the back of the car there, parked up in Leighton, which is in Blackpool, our favourite place and our spiritual home here, Mrs H. Yeah, we need to buy somewhere here. Now, what we've come to have a look at today is another home of one of the former stars, and today I've come to have a look at Frank Carson's former home, which is just over there. Now, once again, we're going to be doing this one from the car because uh, it's rather windy today, isn't it, Mrs H? It is. So uh, I'll just basically rabbit on about it. Now, Frank Carson bought this home in 1997, I think, and he bought it for about £106,000, according to Zoopla. And uh, when he passed away in 2012, he left a widow behind, and she lived in it up to her death in 2015. And the home sold two years later... In 2017 for about uh, 325,000 something like that so it did increase in value now whether or not the home is still in the Carson family or not we don't know I mean there was a bit of a, a sad story in the newspapers when Frank Carson died that he'd supposedly died penniless although he had 8,000 pounds to his name but if you only have a small amount like that apparently you class as dying as penniless now I think myself he'd had a long battle with cancer and I think he uh, he sort of made preparations if cancer won, which it did in the end, unfortunately, that his money would go to the people he wanted it to go to. So, obviously, this how you see her. It was left to his wife, and, uh, you know, it was sort of all disappeared. Fair play to him, he got the last laugh on the tax, man. That's the way to go out, spend it all. What's the point of having all that money and uh, leaving it there and that government come and retax you on it? Anyway, this house here, just to prove as it was Frank Carson's home, I'm going to put a photo in now for you. Now, as you can see, Frank, he was stood outside, or just stood inside, of the gates of his driveway, which are these gates here, and to just prove that those gates are the same one, I've not just picked a random house that looks similar to it, As you can see, the motifs on the gates there of the smiley and sad face, the uh, comedy and tragedy of theatre, or sock and buskin from the Greek theatre. You know, so that proves as it was his actual gates. I'm surprised those gates are still on, to be honest, Mrs H. Uh, you know, somebody's not sold them. Like I said, I don't know if the Carson family still own the home or not. But, um, yeah, it's a bonny little house, to be honest. Now, one thing I'll give Frank Carson his due... You know, were his contemporaries, they all sort of went into little cul-de-sacs and places like that, such as Les Dawson. You know, he chose to have his home hidden away from the public gaze. Frank Carson's on a main, was on a main thoroughfare here. And he was hidden in plain sight, really. There's Toby agreeing, giving a little bit of his own commentary. Thanks, Mrs H. He's just put a dummy in his mouth, keep him quiet. But yeah, that's his home, like I said, and uh, it's a bonny little house. You know, it's, uh, it's, you'll not find this anywhere. I'm the first one to actually find where Frank Carson lived in his later years. It's not mentioned anywhere, it's just Leighton. It's just uh, classed as that. I will lift the lid on it and say it's 118 Newton Drive for anybody out there who wants to have a come and have a little look at it. There's no blue plaque on the home or on the drive gate post, but you can't miss those gates, they're very distinctive. As always, if you do choose to come and have a look at... Uh, any homes that I show, always respect that it belongs to somebody else and it is a private dwelling, that's why we're just parked up outside here. And uh, we're not going mooching around with the camera, have we, Mrs H? Right then, folks, like I said, it was just a quick little helping of uh, Mr H's hot pot, this one. We've not got out and had a look because, number one, you don't want to be sticking a camera over somebody's fence, and number two, it is a bit windy out there. And on that note... I think we'll uh, get off Mrs H and we'll uh, go and have a little walk round Blackpool. Mm -hmm. Maybe have some fish and chips as always. It's becoming a spiritual home, Blackpool, isn't it? It is, just a bit. We'll have to, we'll have to get a property here ourselves. Yeah, this you one know? looks nice. This one looks nice, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll put an offer in for it. Yeah. And I'll uh, sell them gates on eBay. <laughs> anyway, folks, until the next time, from myself, from Mrs H and from little Toby in the back there who's uh, started up again, it is bye-bye for now. Hey, I'm gonna crack that one. No matter how good I get.